Hello there. Let's take a look at how to extract part of text in Excel. To follow along with me, please click on the link in the video description to download a copy of this workbook. I have six sheets on this workbook. Seat 1, 2 and 3 are for me to demonstrate. Do it 1, 2 and 3 are for you to practice. Let's get cracking. Through this video, what I am trying to do is I'm going to extract parts of string. For example, I want to extract a name part from this email address. Then I have this second sheet where I will be extracting parts of address from that string. Finally, I have this third sheet from where I will try to extract the middle portion of the pixel dimensions. To get started, I will start with the email because that's the most straightforward one. I have various ways to do this, but here I will try to do it using the text before function. Along the way, I will also use text after function. Both these functions use similar kind of arguments but they differ in how they process the data. So first two arguments that is text and the delimiter are required and the rest of the arguments are optional. I will go over some of these arguments during this demonstration and I will leave some for you to explore. With that said, let me click in the cell B2 and start typing in the text before function. Select that function as I have it in my view and press tab on my keyboard. The first argument is text which is required. With this argument we will let Excel know where to look for the text to extract the portion of the text. So I want Excel to look here. Comma. The second argument is a delimiter. It is a character that can separate our text. For example if you look at this entire set we have a common character in all of them that is at the rate symbol and a dot symbol. So we can use that as our delimiter. It can be any other character. It can be space, comma, dash. Based on your data set, your delimiter can change. Here, our delimiter is going to be at the rate symbol. Since it is text, I will provide that in double quotations. At the rate, double quote. After closing that double quote, I'll just close the bracket without going over other arguments because that's not required here. Close the bracket and press enter. There we go. I have extracted my first name successfully. Now to extract the rest of them, I'll click on this drag handle and drag it down. Done. Now let's take a look at another sample. We will go into the seed 2 sheet. Here we will try to extract the city and the state name using the same function. So I will type in equal to text before. In the first argument that I need to pass is text. So I will ask Excel to look here for that comma the delimiter in the delimiter i will provide space because that's the most common character in all of them double quotes space double quote comma i am now going to start using the optional arguments the first one that i see is instance number this will help me specify the occurrence of my delimiter that needs to be used for example in my addresses i can see the space between the city and state name and then the zip code. So what I want my Excel to do is look for the second occurrence of that space so it can pick the state and the city name together. For that I will provide number two, close the bracket and press enter. There we go. To get this done for the rest of them I will just click on this drag handle and drag it down. It works in most cases except a few. For example, for San Antonio and San Diego, it didn't work. Similarly, for New York and Los Angeles. The reason is because they have two words in their city name. And soon after the second space, our processor for text before stopped. And that is the reason it couldn't get the state code for that. How can I handle this kind of data now? To handle that, I will try to change the pattern of reading for text before. By default, text before starts reading from left to right. That is, it will look for the spaces from left, count from there and go towards the right hand side. To change that pattern so it can read the data from right to left, I will change the positive number to a negative number for instance number value. So I will say minus one. With that in place, it will look for the first space from right hand side and stop right there and will ask Excel to process anything that falls before that space. Now when I close the bracket, what happens here is it will drop that zip code and process the rest of the string for me. 
close the bracket and when I drag this down there we go it works now we can try the same thing on the city name I will go ahead and type in text before for the text document I will provide this value and the delimiter is going to be space in the double quotes comma in the instance number I will provide minus two reason is because I want it to drop the zip code as well as the state code and then just get me the city name if it is two words three words doesn't matter close the bracket press enter drag this down it worked now let's take a look at another pattern in the C3 sheet here I would like to extract the height part only that is the center number I don't want the width or the depth if I use the text before function only by selecting text and giving the delimiter as space x space comma I want the height information so it is going to be second instance for example if I just close the bracket and press enter it will get me that part but along with the width information I just need the height information I don't want that width information how do I go about it to do that I can use text after function along with the text before function let me show you how I will go ahead and type the text after function in the cell C2 later I will club them both here I will go ahead and use text after the first argument is text so I will ask Excel to look here for that for now comma then for the delimiter I will say hey I want it to be space x space comma what is the instance number the instance number is going to be nothing it's it's a first instance so I will not provide an instance number close this and press enter there we go I have that height information now with that in hand I will now try to club both these functions here in the text after function I'm using b2 for my first argument that is for the text so whatever is there in b2 it is picking up so instead of giving the b2 as reference I will go ahead and pass this function there so I will copy this function from cell b2 go to the c2 cell again and instead of b2 I will just paste that function and I will press enter now I will go ahead and take this function replace this one there we go I have the height information I'll get rid of this one and I'll now track this using the track handle so I can process the other items it works in most places but here it is throwing me an error the reason is we have a smaller case letter here small x and small x here all of them they have the uppercase x this indicates that the text before or text after function they are case sensitive by default to make them case insensitive we can use an optional argument in both these functions to do that I will first click inside my text before function here I will insert a comma you can see it says match mode that is the argument that I need to use for a case sensitive part it is zero and if I enter one it will be case insensitive I will insert one there now I'll click outside so I can do the same for the text after function I'll insert comma here the argument that is required in the series is instance number since I don't have any I will just insert another comma so I can ignore that and now I am on match mode here I will provide one as my input so it can pick the case insensitive match click outside and press enter now to apply that change on rest of them I will just click on this drag handle and drag it on top of all of them there we go so this is how we can use the combo of text after and text before function to extract parts of string from the center of that given string I request you to go ahead and try these steps go into the do it sheet do it one two and three and practice as much as you can try different combinations not just the one that I have listed here the more you practice the more you will retain in the next episode we will explore more dimensions of Excel
If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you and have a very lovely day.